up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shaw vs. Everybody Podcast. Episode 54. We had to change it up. I was tired of talking to all you rap niggas. You know what I'm saying? All y'all niggas, you know, I wanted to change it up a little bit. I didn't want this to be a, a rap podcast or whatever like that. So, we got, matter of fact, you a first. You know, yeah, you a first. Uh, we got Brittany LaShawn Newton. <laughs> yeah, AKA, yeah, got to. AKA Brit Brett, AKA your favorite plus size model. You know what I'm saying? So you the first model on the show. So you know what I'm saying? On Shaw vs. Everybody, we got our first model. So how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I appreciate good. you being on time and coming and stuff. Yes, please tell the people I was on time. <laughs> like I said, compared to other niggas, you, you super early. Yes, For real, please tell so. the people I was on time. Hell yeah. So, you know, we always do something called uh, Salute Me While I'm Here. Okay. So that's what we do. We salute somebody, you know, don't wait till they pass away to talk about how good they were and shit. You, be, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? A lot of people wait for somebody to die because they don't want to tell somebody they love them, you know, in person. Mm-hmm. But it can't be the normal. If you got kids, it can't be your kids. Mom, dad. They can't be my mom. Nope, because that's the go-to. My little mama, like no, nah, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Or brothers and sisters. And sisters. Oh, okay. It gotta be outside the. Yeah, it gotta yeah. be somebody else. Yeah. Out. So if you gotta think, I can go first, or you go first. You All right, go bet. First. I'm a. Uh, I've been salute like a motherfucker. I'm about to start salute niggas. I don't even know. <laughs> but no, nah, I'm gonna salute my cousin, uh, Regina, uh, Elrod, whatever. I I salute her husband, um, last week. I'm gonna salute her. Uh, great person, you know what I'm saying, good person, uh, raised up um, in Detroit, was a hooper. It was the first female I saw like a hoop for real and, and bust your ass, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't seen her bully dudes around and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. She went to Bishop Borges. Then oh, she, my mom went to Bishop Borges. Yeah, then she went to uh, Orberlin in um, Ohio, hoop there. And uh, yeah, she had games. She a good person, um, a great mom, got three uh, kids and stuff like that, doing a good job and everything. So, uh, she deep into the church, you know mm. what I'm saying? So salute on that. And um, she's just a good person. You know, I always looked at her like a sister, even though I don't see her all the time, but I always looked at her like a, a sister that I never had. For sure. So shout out to my uh, my cousin, Regina Elrod. What okay. up, though? Well, shout out to my best friend, mm-hmm. um, Michelle Watkins. That's my dog. She um, she is the mother of my godchild. She's okay. also a single mother, okay. works two jobs, graduated from college, and she really out here doing her thing. So... Salute to her. She's always had my back. I lost my grandfather to COVID this summer. Oh, damn. Like two weeks before my birthday. Oh, sorry to hear that. And without me knowing, this girl threw me a surprise birthday party on a freaking boat. Oh, wow. Like the whole night had me um, blindfolded, drove to the boat, had no idea what was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, shout out to my best friend. That's I my know dog. You was, I know your, your makeup was all messed up. You was crying, wasn't you? What? <laughs> you was able to, hey! <laughs> All I know was she, was, she was like, just have a swimsuit and get cute. I'm like, yeah. okay, what? Between, you know, with your grandfather, like I said, rest in peace. Sorry about to hear that. Mm-hmm. Your birthday, not knowing, you got COVID. Like, yeah, I know yeah. emotions all over the place. It was crazy. Yeah, it that's crazy. It was crazy. So, shout out to my, my best friend. Hell yeah, shout out. Yeah, you said she graduated, got a kid, single mother. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Working that's what's up. Working two jobs, doing, really doing her thing, really doing her thing with my guy, baby. So, she's yeah. a great mom oh yeah because people because they can use shares as an excuse like oh i'm by myself i ain't gotta do this but That's you know excuse. hell yeah but when mm-hmm. you uh shit you gotta just do what you gotta do kids don't be asking you know what i'm saying to be on this earth so once you have them you gotta take care of them Period. you know what i'm saying for real I got... I, i'm not a mother yet so i don't know how hard it is oh it could be hard but <laughs> <laughs> yeah my first son i was shit i was making um a hot 124 a week really yeah working how many the... kids you got this is my third, my baby girl. I just had her December 15th. Oh, she is about to be is that a month. your first girl? Yeah, my first and last. Like I said, rest in peace to my wife, Tubes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No more kids this way. <laughs> Ain't no mistakes and stuff. You know you wake up the next morning. Like, well, she got her girl, so yeah. y'all good. Hell yeah. So I got my oldest son is uh, 14. Okay. And then I got a four-year-old and then a uh, three-week-old. Okay. Well. So yeah, because you know, you got those mornings you wake up like, damn, did I, did I really pull out on time? Stop it. You know, so now we ain't got to worry about that. We good. She tied her tube? Oh, no. They took him out. They threw him out. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Well, I didn't even know you could do that. Like, do you want to remove the whole thing? And my mom, like, yes. But I don't want to say that. But she said, yeah. So, in, in the inside, I was doing big head bounce and shit. <laughs> chicken legs and shit. Like, I was happy. Like, hell yeah. So, you ain't even got to worry about that no more. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I was going to, shoot, I was going to tie my tube. Shit. I, I was about know. to say, like, why is it the woman's job to do it? Why can't the man do it? She she volunteered. Okay. So, I was going to stop her. That's what's true. Be my guest, you know. The fact that you said you was going to do it. Hell yeah. Good. So, I'm good. Most men be like, no, I'm not going to do it. No, I'm good. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't want no more because, like, I'm good. Like, 
she graduate, we good, we can enjoy our life and not be no old 55 year old parent and that's shit like that. Up. So it'd be cool. Up. So y'all got y'all kids early. Mm -hmm. That's good. Hell yeah. And hell you said yeah. you were 34? Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm 34. Y'all get to have fun with y'all kids. Yeah, like yeah, my oldest son, I had him when I was 20. So, you know, when he graduated, I'm still going to be fresh. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to have a good time because my mom was young when she had me. She was 21. Yeah, yeah. So, my mom is my best friend. For sure. We do everything together. Yeah, we're going to rock out. We're going to be in the club. Like, yeah, son. Yeah, you know me and her, when Floods was open. Floods, yeah. Floods. Floods. Uh, yeah, we used to rock with Floods together. Mm hmm. Good times, good times. So you uh you mentioned when when your birthday by the way because July twenty first. July twenty first. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, July. We got a lot of July people in our family. July and June. My you, July twenty first. Mm -hmm. My June twenty first. Oh, okay, really? Yeah, so we yeah, yeah, yeah you know last. Wait, am I a Cancer or Gemini? I don't know. I'm like my shit be saying both. So. I think you. Shit, you might be a Cancer. Yeah. I'm a Cancer. I'm on like the last day. Oh, so you emotional. I'm passionate. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, because like, my, my wife is a cancer, my brother's a cancer, and they both, some, my mom, they both all emotional. If you ask somebody else, yeah, I'm emotional, but Yeah, because no, y'all be I'm keeping passionate. shit bottled in, like. No, I don't. Oh, I'm about to say. I don't keep stuff bottled in. Motherfuckers be having three three whole attitudes inside their body, like, mm -mm. <laughs> Ray let that shit look. Like, mm -hmm. this motherfucker. I don't hold stuff in. That's probably my problem. No, that's good. Cause, like, I'm too honest. Yeah, relationship, I want to know. If you mad me about motherfucker leaving the toilet seat up or pissing on the thing, just let me know. I'm gonna let you know. Nasty motherfucker. If you don't come in here and clean this up. Sure. Then you get mad like, oh, I ain't selling this shit too many times. Like, you know. No. The first time. Mm -hmm. Bruh. You sure, too I, old for this. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I ain't saying I do that, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I did. I hope not. Sometimes, you know, it'd be three, <laughs> at three in the morning, you always gonna miss. <laughs> Sometimes. Especially if you jump, boy, you get that bathroom, you just shoot. Well, you know, I ain't never had that anatomy, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That'd be a whole different uh, show. Right there. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Craig, you was Craig. Like, no, hey, no offense, because I know how y'all trying to get on me. I be, you know, I made a couple comments about the gays and stuff. Like, it's nothing bad, but, you know, I just be having questions sometimes. If you got I don't think it's anything wrong with asking questions. Yeah. If it's stuff you want to know yeah. and how to approach things, For of sure. course you should be able to ask your questions. People was talking stuff because I said all oh, studs wear Team Jordans and stuff like that. Like I'm not doing this. <laughs> you know. So, no. uh, you know, get back. Uh, you said your grandfather had passed away. So that's my next question. By mm -hmm. being early in the year, highs and low moments. Of course, that, that'd be a low moment. A 2020? Yeah. What's some highs and some lows of 2020 outside your, you know. Okay. So we're going to start with the lows. Okay. So... Early in the year, my grandfather uh, contracted COVID. That, this was in March. Mm -hmm. He was in the hospital until July. And we wasn't really, I was able to see him, what, like three times the yeah. whole time he was in the hospital? Yeah, yeah. And my grandfather was like my father. Okay. Of course, typical story. Yeah. Single mama don't, sure. I don't know my father. But yeah. um, my grandfather was my father. Okay. So with him passing away, that's like really the only male figure I had in my life. Yeah. So that was a really big deal. For sure. For me. Um, so after he passed away, I was diagnosed with depression. Okay. Um, it's not so much of an issue now. Yeah. Um, but I do have my moments. Like I really miss him. And I really get in my moods where I just be like, I don't really want to mess with nobody. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so those were a few lows, but yeah. some highs was starting my modeling career and it okay. really, took off yeah yeah, yeah for like, sure like it really took off so this is something that you did last year like this is i new. started in august mm -hmm. and now i'm here okay now we, <laughs> you know yeah, we we gonna touch on that a little bit more we usually get to the you know what your what your career is towards the middle so okay we, i'll make sure i go ahead and get back on yeah. that so you say um but no with the whole depression thing like you was you say you were diagnosed with depression mm -hmm. so what were some things you was going through like you know what I'm saying because i know charlotte may talk about mental health a lot and stuff like that and a lot of people has been open with you know saying they they, they uh mental health issues and stuff yeah. so, so what were some things you was going I'm through i'm very open about it i, I kind of consider myself a mental health advocate mm -hmm. um it got to the point where like i kind of had to like take medication yeah. to damn near like not be upset and not be um like sad about what was going on with my grandfather because yeah. i don't know if you've ever lost a parent oh yeah i lost both my parents that shit is <laughs> yeah, crazy hell yeah no for sure so and you know i'm watching my mom go through it she losing her dad at the same yeah, time yeah, yeah, so yeah. it was a lot going on and through that time like we had to move mm -hmm. it's it was just a lot going on and then covid going on like oh, hell yeah that can fuck you up for real it was a lot so it was just really really heavy so what i experienced this was like i really didn't want to talk to nobody mm -hmm. i was always sad i wasn't w wanting to do like the things that i normally do yeah crying all the time just not being like my bubbly self like the way i am now this yeah, is yeah, not yeah. For sure. who i was a few yeah. months ago okay so i noticed like something is wrong yeah yeah, yeah so yeah. i started to um get into therapy i 
started therapy in February of last year. Okay. And I advocate for everybody to go into therapy. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because a lot of people be scared thinking there's something wrong with you. The mm -hmm. black people always say, especially when you're losing parents and stuff like that. I, I feel That's like a big deal. you need somebody to talk to for real. Mm -hmm. Especially coming from a single parent home, you know. I guess sometimes I do like feel that void of like having a male figure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So talking that out with the therapist, that mm -hmm. was really something good for me. So starting therapy in February and then like going through therapy as my grandfather was sick and going through what he was going through. Yeah. She was like, I, I see the difference yeah. in you from yeah. when you started in February and now. Mm -hmm. And she, I did a couple of like a mental test and like stress tests. And she was like, well, Brittany, I want to go ahead and diagnose you and I know some things that'll help you. Yeah, yeah, so that's yeah. when she prescribed me with some um, medication mm. that basically just leveled me out. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. wasn't like, met, people take it as like you taking medication like that. Is it like you basically become a zombie? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. not true. It just mm. levels you out. Okay. So that's what it did for me. Okay, okay. So yeah. now you 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 feel you a little better and are you still seeing the... Uh... I'm still seeing my therapist. I'm not really on my medication anymore because I'm in a better place. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and modeling has a lot to do with it. I'm about to say, do you try to make you stay busy so you ain't got to have those times you just, you know what I'm saying, shut no, down? No, I don't, I don't try to stay busy, but it is a good thing. Yeah. So I have those, I don't have those moments where I just completely shut down. Like, yeah. believe me, like if I have too much time on my hands to yeah. think about what I've been through the last year, mm -hmm. it's enough to send a nigga into a depression <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay if I tell something. Hell yeah. Shit, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, that shit, especially with COVID, like. If you if you if you single, you know, not in a relationship, you by yourself, mm -hmm. cause everybody's too scared to come out the door. Like I can see how that shit could trigger some things, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, but with mental health, I believe I was talking to my brother about this, the last twins that was on here, about like just going through things and just being afraid to talk to somebody about it. And sometimes it's bad to talk to your family. You need to talk to somebody outside looking in so they can give you, you know what I'm saying, the real cause your family going they just gonna say shit to make you feel good. Exactly. They're not gonna try to go in for real and just let you know like, hey, this, that, and the third. Exactly. And your your family don't necessarily know what you've been through or how yeah. you're feeling like of course, I would talk to my mom about things, but she wouldn't always understand because yeah. she came from a two-parent home. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we live in two different lives. Yeah, for sure. We live two different childhoods. So yeah. you don't know what I'm feeling. So yeah, I, yeah. Can't ex I can't expect for her to understand where I'm coming for from. For sure, hell yeah. So it got to a point where I'm like, I need to talk to somebody to just... You yeah, know, yeah. they don't have no type of bias or anything. That's dinner everything. Like, you can't talk to a family when you're going through relationship problems. Exactly. Because you're going to take your side. Even though you're wrong, you ain't cheated with her. Right. Honey motherfucking hussies right. and shit. <laughs> you can't talk to That's why I, I be telling girls in relationships that family is not your friend. No. Because then they're going to look at you stupid if y'all work it out. And you ain't talk to all this shit about Craig. Exactly. And now y'all out here holding hands, smiling. Like, you just said his name no, was no you good. keep your family no, you got at to. a distance. Hell yeah, you got to. Well, you know, this ties up with... um. My next little uh, question, uh, tell me how it was growing up, you know what I'm saying, being a young Britney. Being young Britney. You know what I'm saying, how was it at the household where you grew up at, east, west side? I, like, well, I grew up partly in Southfield and partly on the west side. Okay. For um, most of my life, I lived with my mom and my grandparents. Okay. My grandparents were a big part of my life because, like I said, my mom was a single mom. Mm -hmm. So they helped me a lot. So when it came to like growing up and like that family structure it was always me my grandma my grandfather and my uncle yeah yeah yeah. so i lived i lived a, a pretty comfortable life i'm i'm not gonna say like i ever struggled for anything because i i didn't yeah, i yeah. had my grandparents who um they both had really good jobs and mm -hmm. i had my uncle and my mom so i lived a i don't want to sound <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh she bragging but i lived a pretty good life like a pretty good normal middle class life for sure i didn't like it wasn't where i struggled for yeah anything like the heat ever. was off and all yeah shit. yeah i never really went through yeah, that boy never, bath water yeah i never <laughs> really went through that um, although i can sympathize with people who did yeah, for sure, yeah. because it wasn't always easy because there was a time where me and my mom moved out of my grandparents house and mm. that's when we when i lived on the west side okay and that was kind of like when i was in middle school and there were struggles because she was on her own for the first time yeah 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 and we did experience some things, but at the same time, it really wasn't nothing that was too bad. Okay. So, like, Christmases were good. Like, I, yeah. I bring up Christmas because Christmas just bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so Christmases were good. Like, I can honestly say I never really wanted for anything or I never really lacked anything. Yeah. My grandfather made sure, like, just because you don't have a father in your life, you're not going to feel like you you missing out on something. Yeah, 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 Because sure. I can say I kind of... 
had a better life than my friends that had two parents. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, so. hell yeah. And then grandparents always gonna be the shit. Like they always yeah. we were just talking about that, like like how when you lose a grandparent, like how the holidays don't be the same no more. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, because with my grandmother, like we always go over there eat and stuff like that. Like it's not. once you lose that person, it's like you lose the the top of your the, the food changes. Everything just started falling apart. Everything. I the the holidays have not been the same since I lost my grandma in 2014, and this will be the first Christmas without my grandfather. Yeah. I mean, it still felt good for us to make new memories. Yeah, for sure, for but sure. But it was you still felt the void. Hell for sure. yeah, hell yeah. Because you go over to grandma's house, you looking at the photo albums you looked at a thousand right. times, seeing your mama in that afro yeah. and shit. Like, damn, like. This is some shit. Like this, that's the shit though. Smelling that motherfucking good collard greens. And right, stuff. Like, right. Fuck, I miss that shit, man. Good thing my mama could cook though. Oh, she cook, man. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas and like, it's, it's the holiday season. What's some shit like on the dinner table you gotta have and some shit that you don't want? Like for Thanksgiving, like I, I gotta have dressing with, okay. the, with the motherfucking cranberry sauce, and you can leave the yams in the garbage. You can leave cranberry sauce. Oh my god, I'm I cannot. Stand hey, I'm gonna throw it by both of y'all guys. Like cranberry sauce, I love my. I buy my own can. I hate cranberry. I bring, sauce. I bring my own can. And back in the day, I used to love it, but now that I've grown up and I found my love for dressing, yams, mm. macaroni and cheese, yeah. and greens, like that combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, how do you eat your macaroni though? Is it brick or is it or is it creamy? It's creamy. Oh my god, you west side. What you mean? <laughs> You gotta have, a, I want my junk to be like goddamn almost like cornbread. I want my junk to be thick. I want like 18 different cheeses in that boy. And I want it to be thick. What so thick and so cheesy that when so I use the bathroom. That, that's that east side uh, shit. Hell yeah. You don't want no oh. creamy old KFC macaroni? It ain't, see, <laughs> that's runny. That ain't creamy. <laughs> <laughs> my thing <that> creamy? <laughs> that ain't creamy. That's runny. <laughs> I, I like my junk. I like it thick. Uh -uh. Thicker than cold peanut butter, for real. Like. So you, nah, 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 nah. Gotta be, gotta be. How do you be. even enjoy it? It's good. Trust me, it's great. Nah. So what's some things that you you can be like, hey, take, leave it off the menu. Besides disrespecting my cranberry sauce. Real talk, real talk. I know, like, this is, like, the big thing for Thanksgiving, mm. but I could really leave turkey out of it. Yeah, it depends on how you make it. Fried turkey is good. Fried turkey is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the whole I'd rather have ham. Yeah, me too. I love ham. I yeah. love ham. The, the, I ain't gotta have turkey. The traditional old turkey in the oven, uh, it'd be it'd be a little dry. Like I like how people be doing like seafood now yeah. for like Thanksgiving. I could fuck with that. Yeah, 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 I'd rather have that. No, I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it. I mean, I, we can have like a few seafood dishes, but yeah. I gotta have a yeah, some the traditional, traditional dishes. hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Gotta have the collard greens. Yeah, gotta, gotta have that. Stuff. Collard the, greens are some of the best. I, I can have collard greens any day. Oh yeah, of for the sure. Week. And you and the brick cheese, the brick mac and cheese. You gotta have that shit. I'm not. I'm not. All day with brick that. mac and you cheese. You wrong with that, No, no, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like you growing up and stuff. Like how was you as a as a as a student? Like what were some things that you you know saying? I was a good student. I used to um be in Decca. Mm -hmm. As a high school student, which is like uh, a program for like students that want to go into business when yeah. they go into college. Yeah, I remember the DECA program. Yeah, I did that. I uh, I ran for homecoming court in my 10th grade year on one. Okay. Because I was popular. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so I was pretty... I was pretty social. Okay. And um, in school, very yeah. social. I had good grades. I did have good grades. What high school so you went to? I went to Southfield Lathrop, okay. which is no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The building's ain't, still there. I'm gonna say, ain't like, no didn't they do a co collab or something? Some stupid junk. Like they collabed it. Like, like I think it's like they collabed it with like another school, and yeah. I was like eight. A and T or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. I know it because my uh, I coach basketball. We was over there playing over there and stuff. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it ain't the same. Yeah. So like, same. so you did you were you R. into R. sports? To the Chargers. No. <laughs> No sports? Uh-uh. He wasn't into that. You just I did track to be... for like one season and I was done. So at least you made it through a season and shit. My shit was two days. Let me tell you, what, let me tell you when I stopped. Me. So you can see I'm short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My track coach thought it would be a good idea for me to do hurdles. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Don't tell me you failed. What? <laughs> Man. Busted my... Like, it was bad. And yeah. this is during a meet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sure. was bad. God I said, damn. oh, this was... My mom was pissed. Man. She was pissed. She was like, you're never doing it again. Yeah. You're done. Yeah. So, so that's when I started doing that. Tell me about the what's name then. You know, you talking about high school. Tell me about the uh, special Craig or special Chris. Who was the special dude in your life in high school that you thought, well, we we going to be together forever. I but, didn't have one of those. For real? Mm -hmm. Damn, I just knew I was going to be my, my little high school person. But it, that did shit didn't work. I didn't have one of those. I didn't have one of those until college. Oh, shit. Well, you, oh, you one of those ones like, you know, I ain't, I'm ain't. i focused. You super focused because I wasn't. No. I had, like, 
I just never really. Well, you know what? I did have a high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. And um, we were together uh, the ninth grade and the 10th grade. Now, you know, being the ninth grade and 10th grade, you think yeah. you're going to be with this person forever. Hell yeah, that's how I was. Thought you, I, shit I, I'm, got real. We're going to get married and shit. Like. <laughs> Stuff got real. Yeah. And I'm just like, this ain't going to work. So, yeah, yeah. we still cool to this day, but no. Nah. Sure. Oh, yeah. See, what happened? He was talking to Felicia. No, I, I was no, never mind. Uh, oh, you was doing your thing. You was doing your thing. Like, oh, you yeah. know, you know how you had like that growth spurt in high school, and, like you feel like niggas start to notice you. Yeah, like damn. I was really liking the intention a little bit too much. Yeah, Goddamn, Brittany like, ain't, ain't the same nightmare right? Brittany no more. Like and he like you playing too much. You playing with me, and I'm like I probably am. Yeah, that's the worst thing when you get that girl and she start feeling herself and that's exactly what them happened. twelve grades and got in your head and shit. Like, that's exactly what happened. Goddamn, you be hating them twelve grades got them motherfucking cars and you and that boy walking. On the bus or getting dropped That's off. That's exactly what happened. He went to a different school, so I'd be doing my dirt at my school. Yeah. And then I would really hate for, like, <laughs> the, the dirt would get back to him. And I'm like, how is this happening? Like, who is telling on me? Man. Probably that dude. Probably. <laughs> hey, yeah, but. Probably. I, I, I remember I had a little growth spurt from, like, I was 5'2 in ninth grade. You was? And then I got to 5'8, so I'm thinking I'm about to be 6'1. I'm still 5'8. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I've been short since day one, but I started to, like, develop. And niggas oh, yeah, was yeah. like. Yeah, hell yeah, because that's when you be in high school, you be looking like, God damn, Keisha ain't got a little, little, right. little thick on a little neck bones. She be eating some right. neck bones and black eyed peas this boy. After I became homecoming queen, I'm like, I can't have anybody I want. See, that's how I went. I went to a suburban school. What so, school you go to? Gross Point North. Okay. So I went there for ninth and 10th grade. got kicked out because they found out my mom moved back to Detroit. I love you got kicked out of school, too. We'll talk about that later. Oh, yeah, so we went to uh, <laughs> Southeastern, and my first day in there, I'm like, oh my God, I ain't seen no girls like this shit. And, and forever, shit. So, Where you go for your second half? Southeastern. Okay. So then I started being stupid. Luckily, I got good grades in ninth and tenth grade because I wouldn't have graduated. My whole thing was trying to be you fresh. You the fool. Yeah, trying to be fresh, <laughs> trying to get chicks and stuff. And yeah, I fucked that up. But I graduated, though. Okay. I graduated. That's good. We just talking about that. I graduated with 1.8. No, you didn't. Hell yeah, I was dumb as bricks. I wasn't dumb as bricks. I just wasn't, you just wasn't applying, applying myself. Yourself. Yeah. I stopped hooping, and the hooping was the motivation to keep my grades up. Okay. So once I didn't make the team because they already had their team. Shit, I was, was just going like to school. Epic. I mean, I was going to school just to chill. You was just vibing. Yeah, see what the hell, uh, see vibe. what the girls are doing. Me and my daughter Reg is them boys just trying to see how many girls we can get every day, and try not to get caught up by the girls we had out of school. See, see, <laughs> see. For real. See, Sorry see. if I did y'all ain't dirt. Yeah, see, I, you know, I was a good dude. See. But no, no what you what you, you get kicked out for? Fighting. Oh, you, you fighting what? What's my so toss this my man? No, <laughs> most of the time I fought. It wasn't because of something that I did or some business that I was in, it was because of somebody else. Yeah. Like, the first time I... Like, I was not a fighter yeah, in yeah. high school, but the first time I fought in high school, this girl was talking stuff about my best friend. <laughs> and my best friend was not... My best friend was not a fighter at all. Yeah. And, like, this girl came up to me in the hallway trying to ask me about it. And I'm just like, look, if you talk about my best friend, then we could, we could settle it right here. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. And then the second time... So you didn't get drugged, did you? You know what? I don't even remember. I no, might I, have. I, 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 I don't even remember. No, come here. Because I wasn't a fighter. No, it's okay. No, it's I did what I had to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. She better bite, motherfucking elbow, right. everything. Right, whatever had, you know, whatever. You know, I think I held my own, but she should. Bitch. Who knows? <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, and then the second time I got into a fight, this was like, so... My principal was a little lenient on me because it was the first time I got into a fight yeah. and I had good grades. Yeah. So he let me come back to school or whatever. Got suspended for a few days. Let me come back. A month later, I got into another fight. Yeah. Because the girl that I fought had just gotten into a fight with my homegirl. <laughs> I saw her walking down the, ha the hallway with security and she knew I was homegirls with the girl she just fought. So she called me a bitch. Man. I saw red. So... The way I told it was she ran up on me. Yeah, but you Cra ran up on her, though. I ran up on that girl. And my 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 mother was like, there's no way my daughter could get into two fights. So you won that fight, close then? together. It's like you won that fight. Well, I had scratches. I think, yeah, I had scratches on my face from now. I do remember that. I don't even fucking remember. It Man. is on tape, though. But I say <laughs> that to say yeah, that shit. it got so... My grandmama was, like, so upset that, like, she wanted to press charges. Damn. Yeah. So... <laughs> we sent the the school sent this is so funny. The school sent 
the tape to the police station. Damn, it got serious. My fam me, my grandmother, <laughs> my mama, and my uncle went to go view the tape. Yeah. The the second my uncle saw me run up on that girl, he was like, We gotta go. Man. Before this bitch for fucking chase. Hell yeah, yeah, reverse that shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. He was damn. like, We gotta fucking that, go. That's not some soft field late type shit. Cause yeah. if you trade wouldn't give a damn, like press, no. press charge. My grandmama was like, Oh no, she touched Man. my granddaughter. Oh no. To, Hell no. The, to, the, to her dying day, she would have said that girl ran up on me. God she damn. saw me ran up on God damn. Her. Grandma had your bad regardless. Like, oh no. Nah, not my Brittany. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hell no. So tell me, like, because this is a question, because this ain't no no music podcast, but I like to incorporate music because mm -hmm. music is important in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what was some shit that you was liking because your mom or your grandma was cleaning up the crib playing this music? That is so crazy you asked me that because I, I give a lot of thanks to my mother because of my love for music. Mm -hmm. So I'm a big Jill Scott fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jill Scott. Yeah. Jill Scott is the love of my life. Yeah, Jill Scott look good, too. Oh yeah, she's bad. <laughs> yeah. She's doing it for the big girls. Hell yeah. Um, who else? Maxwell. Yeah. Erica Badu. Um, yeah. Anita Baker. Anita Baker for sure. I'm a real R and B hit because of my mother. My mother was never a big one on like rap. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I never really got into rap like that. Like I do have yeah. like the rap artists I listen yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. But. I'm a real R and B. Yeah, hit. a little R and B, a little yeah. R and B, man. Like I, I was listening to the TLC, uh, Crazy Hessy Cool. That shit was cold. Like there was Wasn't like, it? hell yeah. And then what's name was like, she had like a unique ass voice though. T bars. Cool T bars. Like, yes, yeah, I love her. Like voice. her, she don't sound like no fucking body. Nobody like, else. And then you had motherfucking what's name looking good in mud uh, ch uh, chili. Chili. Damn, us you fucked that shit up, cuz. <laughs> and she was a little older ones. too. Like damn, you had made. Always fuck up the good ones. Hell yeah, but I did see some things. Um, that you was talking about, and you was completely wrong. When I was looking on your, uh, your, see, <laughs> on your IG, we was doing so good. No, what you, was I wrong about? You said that Keisha Cole would beat Ashanti in the battle. She would. Mm mm mm. Why? The battle <laughs> was supposed to be tonight for sure, yeah. and I was. You know what? I'm no. going to let you have your moment. You got to look. Ashanti got hits. Now, don't ask me name songs because I'm not a namer. I, I can name songs. But Ashanti got too many hits just along with. Then you know he's going to do features, right? I know. You know who Ja Rule is, right? I know who Ja Rule is. You know who is. Big Pun is, Fat Joe, like... Do you she, know who Keisha Cole is? I know she got that that one song that uh, when she be like, uh, I never knew that I was... It's something, you she know. Has, she, <laughs> she got trust with Monica. She has... I'm not going out like I used to... That, what, that song with... Uh, what's that man's name? See? You know, <laughs> I'm, I don't hey. even remember the man's name. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Keisha. I'll tell you this. If, 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 whenever the bell happened, Ashanti, if they do 20 songs... It'd be like 13 7. To who? Ashanti. No. Man, you crazy. I, I'm I'm gonna give you her just due. It's going to be a good battle. Yeah. No. But Keisha Cole got two Keisha Cole has a vault that is yeah. just so deep. I wasn't gonna comment on because you know you comment on something that you get cussed out and stuff, you know, but yeah, Ashanti gonna yeah, she gonna no, be no, there. No, it's, no, gonna, no. it's gonna be. No. A little, I mean, that's nice that you think that's light what, word. What's that one song she got? Ashanti with, uh, like real like a lot Ashanti is like she give she give music for like the girls that's like that's like in love. Yeah, and Keisha Cole get that Keisha one. Keisha Cole give I, music to the bitches on. like me that like you niggas ain't shit. Man, <laughs> hell no. We, and that, and, and some of us ain't, but it's all good. But no, Keisha Cole, she cool and she look. You know, they I both they, they, they both some lookers. You know what I'm saying? They're both some good lookers. But I'm gonna have to I'm gonna let y'all have that moment. I'm gonna have to go I'm ahead and um I'm gonna have to go ahead and give it that to Ashanti because I'm Keisha Keisha, do you hear that? <laughs> I hope she do. Come on, show. Keisha. Let's talk. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I've been rolling for you since day one, since Man. they said you was gonna have the uh the verses. Hell yeah. Okay. So, so uh we, sticking on music, what's the first CD you stole or bought? The first oh, you gonna laugh at me. No, it can't be the worst my, the first CD I bought well, was a cassette. I bought uh you were what the Usher uh my way, yeah. Mine my... was in sync. In sync. Oh hell no. <laughs> what? My wife. That's Justin Timberlake, right? <laughs> yeah, my wife loved fucking Justin Timberlake. Though. I love Justin Timberlake. Yeah, too, like. But I that... was a big in sync fan. The first concert I ever went to was in sync. Got it. Concert. So that's the first album you bought. Like everybody I... gonna be like, see that's that Southfield yeah. shit. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I was thinking that my in my mental. <laughs> In my mental, I was thinking that shit, but I didn't want to say it because I didn't want you yeah. to get mad. Like, and I don't care. Yes, oh, Southfield I'm an ass. God damn it! <laughs> what's, 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 what? Did you ever buy a rap album? 
the first rap album. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> 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 right now, cause you you say you twenty six, twenty seven, twenty seven, twenty seven. So you gotta think when Bow Wow's coming, to you probably about eight, nine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When he was like that. And know? I never got to go to a screen tour. My mama was not having it. Man, it's goddamn screen tour. But then motherfuckers be uh, you know who I be feeling bad for cool. for uh, Raz B. Cause I hate to be a nigga in a group and don't know hoes want I me, mean, don't know ladies want me. <laughs> like damn, they want Marion, Fizz, and motherfucking what's the other nigga name? Uh, Bug, whatever. They want him, but then don't. Raz B over here, he he gay. I think so. He he got a lot of problems. We just <laughs> yeah. Pray for him. And then you just I hate to be in that group like damn. And the, everybody at the words coming to to them and stuff, hugging them, and they just like what up, Raz? That'd be fucked up for real. That nigga weird. Man, he's just weird. Yeah, but yeah, back then that's when you like you a little kid. You was hating, but didn't know you was hating just because all the girls were talking about B two K and motherfucking. Was you one of them niggas hating? Hell yeah, I was hating. Because I was trying to be a rapper and shit. Bow wow, motherfucking Romeo and shit. Cause like, what the fuck, nigga? I'm... Oh, and my Romeo. name is Shy. So. Poor Romeo. You know what I'm saying? Niggas come on. You got Bow Wow name? Like, nigga, no. Nigga, got my name, man. What the fuck you talking okay, about? Okay, so I got a question for you. So when ATL came out, was you feeling like that nigga? Because that nigga. Okay, everybody's talking about. You know, everybody's talking about that shit, man. One <laughs> girl's always do that shit. Like, say Rashad and shit. My name, I, we were just talking about this last night. Like, I have a great name. Rashad has a great name. That's Rashad a good name. has a good name. Yeah, and it's like. I guess it's becoming common now, but it wasn't coming then. Like when I was born, my dad, my mom told me my name was supposed to be Michael. I'm happy until like the last Michael. minute. Yeah, Mike. A lot like, of people are named Michael. Yeah, like what the fuck, Mike? Like what the fuck? That's gay. And then when you, <laughs> 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 like, my bad. But then when, you never know what's my he name. He did Mike. not mean that, yeah. guys. But Michael <laughs> is always like something. Tall Mike, short Mike, little Mike, black Mike, oh, little Mike, country Mike, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, fat Mike, like, what the hell, dog? And that, it's, it's crazy, we talking about mics and names and stuff. Last night was some drunk stuff. Me and my uh, my cousin and my wife was talking about the name Dick. And how, how the hell do you get Dick from Richard? Robert or Richard. Yeah, yeah. I don't see how you get that. So then That's we started, some white people We started shit. talking about, like, you know how black people, I'm... My son's name is Rashad, so we call him Lil Shad. Oh, he's so he's the second. Yeah, and I'm Aww. Big Shad. So if you dick, you got little dick and big dick, like, <laughs> like oh, what you doing? I'm over here chilling with Dick. Like, I always thought about that name. Like, how embarrassing would that be? Like in this day and age, to be black and your name is Dick. On the inside, I'm screaming. You can't see it. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Like, dog, that we just, dog, we laugh. Little... <laughs> <laughs> like, like, cause everybody come to my house like, what little shot at? I was imagining like, what was this nigga name was Dick? Like, what little dick? <laughs> that should be oh, fun. That should be fun though, though. Please, but change the subject. Those man. names is funny though. Like, 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 like Dick from Richard and what Bob from, from um something. You got yeah Robert. And you got uh, Billy from William. I don't see how I never understood Billy those fucking William. nicknames. I don't get that. And how he was associated with each other. White like. people shit. Yeah, because I'm a shy, little shy. I ain't no motherfucker shy and my name is fucking Scott or some shit like that. I like, don't get that. Yeah, man. So that's crazy. I don't get that. So talk to me about life after college. Like, where, what, damn, producer over here dropping cups and shit, man. All in the Why videos. he dropping cups? He could pour me up a little bit more. Oh, yeah, we got it right here, right here. Oh, okay. Uh, um, we're not sponsored by some, nobody, but if somebody wants to sponsor the show, let us know. Right, sponsor the show. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the best podcast in the city. Period. Uh, about to be a royal pretty soon. I'm going to put you a lot. Nigga. We, like, Damn. we good. I'm going to put you on some Bill we Cosby good. shit. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't make it to the photo shoot, y'all. <laughs> she over here Shut sleeping on the couch. <laughs> but no, tell me about life after uh, after high school. Like, what, what college you went to? Okay, so after I um, graduated from... High school. I thought for sure I was gonna be a Bronco. Okay. I thought I was gonna go Western to Western Michigan. for sure. Yeah. My mama pulled the card on that because okay. um the school that I ended up going to, Northwood University. Okay. Which is in Midland, Michigan. Yeah. Midland, Michigan was giving hella scholarships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and Western really wasn't doing all of that. Okay. So, so was, I ended up more going money to come Northwood. Out of your mom pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My mama was like, no. And and it's crazy because I was being very selfish at the time and I like real like looking back on it, yeah. I was really upset with her because yeah. I could not go to Western. For sure, yeah. But looking back at it, she was a single mom trying yeah. to put me through college. Yeah, yeah. So it, yeah. a lot of she's a lot money. of kids that be in single parent homes do not go to college. Yeah, or go to a JUCO. Exactly. College, yeah. So I was fortunate enough to go to a four year university straight out of uh, high school. Okay. So I went there, and it's a predominantly white university, and it's yeah. a private university, mm -hmm. and it's a um business university so they all it's no medical none of no yeah, straight law, business. it's straight business yeah. um so i went there and i i really enjoyed 
mm. my experience. Mm. It's a small school, so it was a handful of black people. Yeah. But the black people that were there, I super I, cool, super duper cool. Yeah. I still have relations with with today. Mm. Um, that it, it was kind of like a family unit with the black people that went there. Yeah. Um, and the white people was cool too. Yeah. Have, yeah. have yeah. relationships with them as well. For sure. Um, so so some of my best friends I I you know met in college. Mm. Um, but some of the, the opportunities I had coming from Northwood was really cool. Like I did an internship with Disney okay, damn. in Florida for eight months. Yeah. So that was really, that was really, really cool. And it really, um, helped my business sense. Cause you know, Disney is one of the biggest marketing monsters in the world. For sure, yeah. So my major was in, uh, marketing. Okay. So it was really cool for me to learn from him and I took classes there. Mm. And I pledged while I was in college as well. Shout out to Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Okay. J sure. J thirteen coming up. Yeah. That is that no disrespect, but that's the one about ski you. No. Okay. See no disrespect. I don't know. No. I'm stupid. But it's all good. <laughs> my, uh, my sister in law would beat my ass. But... In layman's terms, it's the red and white. One. Okay. All right, okay. Bad, bad. For sure, for sure, for sure. Um so yeah, I was pledged in um, college as well. So mm -hmm. college was really college was cool for me. I had a really good college experience. Yeah. Really do you cool. do you um do you advise like or like you know high school kids coming in you know into the next level going to college? Like a lot of times we go to college and we wasting our time because we don't know what the fuck we want to do and we just build up this debt in life and we gotta pay that shit back. Mm -hmm. Like do you like do it depends on what you want to do in life. If college is necessary, or do you like go to to a trade? Because I feel like some people. I feel like I okay. So I'm kind of like fifty percent yes, fifty percent no. Mm -hmm. Um, I do feel like everybody should have a degree to fall back on. For sure. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. have like, say, if you want to be a rapper, or say, if you want to be a model, something that's not guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. You should have a degree to fall back on, like yeah. I do. Yeah. But if you know you like you want to go into plumbing or you want to go into like graphic design, or something. Def definitely yeah, go yeah. go do that. Don't worry about college. Go go to trade school yeah. if you know that's what you want to do. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? But if you like if if you just out here in the world and you don't know exactly what the yeah. fuck you want to do, yeah. don't go to college right away because you're yeah. wasting your money. Hell yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? So if you want to graduate, work a little bit, work for a year, year Again, and a half, and then, then yourself, discover yeah. what you want to do, I'm all for that. Yeah, yeah. But do I think everybody should at least have some type, something to fall back on? Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, I need to go back to school low key because I, I didn't figure out what the fuck I wanted to do until as of five years ago mm -hmm. like as far as like me coaching i see that i really mess with the kids like that and stuff and i'm like damn i could be a great gym teacher or something like that mm -hmm. and then with this podcast shit, i'm great with this i got the best podcast in the city so you Period. know you know they, they, they might tell me that but i told myself that mm -hmm. and i know it so kind of look at a lot of these podcasts and it's kind of whack but oh, you know i ain't gonna, you know <laughs> that's like with model you gotta have that confidence like i'm the best model in the world like you know you gotta have that confidence Period. i say i'm the pure plus premier plus size model in detroit not throwing salt on nobody else's name you got to but, Th throw salt. Know, <laughs> throw I'm not salt. throwing salt, ladies. And pepper. <laughs> Hell yeah. But I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. So you know. Mm -hmm. So you. So you say you benefited from your four years in college and stuff, and mm -hmm. everything was smooth and stuff like that. And I have a master's degree, so I went to school after that. Oh, so you smart for real. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I'm like, real educated. Hey, I was at, I, I was that motherfucker in school, just looking like, damn, what are you talking about? No, I really <laughs> love school. Like school adds like structure to my life. Like I ain't gonna lie, I I didn't. I, I love it. I like school for like the. The friends and the girls and the uh, and basketball and just the fun. You but, went to school for the wrong but the thing. Learn, yeah, <laughs> but like the learning part, like, it was cool. Like, like well, I could say voting cool. School was cool. Like, you know mm, what I'm saying? The but learning the, part really did it for me. I, yeah. I love learning new stuff. I'm, I'm low-key a nerd. Yeah, that's okay, though. <laughs> Like, I tell my son that all the time. My son get great grades. He good. I'm so happy because if he come to me with the need help, I don't know what to do. Because the way they doing math now, like, nigga, what? Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I wasn't a math whiz. I was an English science, but anything See me? having to do with math. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. no, to me, right now, if it's two plus two, they want, they want you to break down how you got four. Right. Like, nigga, it's four. Two plus two. <laughs> so he told me you got, he got to break down everything. Nah. So you thank God with that. my son is a smart young dude. Because he don't, yeah. he need my help with some things, but not most things. Yeah, my my future children gonna have to have yeah. a math tutor. For now sure. my four year old, oh shit, we good. Oh, it's red, blue, yellow. <laughs> Goddamn, <laughs> how many sticks you need? Oh, cause I got all the sticks. Right here. <laughs> we good, we good. And then that's the whole thing with the whole COVID. Like it's funny seeing my four year old online for three. So all your kids, they do a homeschool right now. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. So yeah, so my How's son, that? it's cool. My son, cool. His his grades ain't how it was last year. 
but they they, they still 3.0. So he got okay, like all B's, whatever. Like okay. Before that, with a couple of C's, he was getting like all A's and a B, whatever. Mm -hmm. But now he's he's don't like doing it from the from the bedroom. Yeah, that's you know? it's whack. Even working from home, it's whack. Yeah, and then my son now he he's in preschool and they doing two thirty minute sessions. So ain't that more dancing and goddamn doing different things. It's like, dog, like you missing the whole, the whole bonding with kids and and learning other kids. Now he think this is regular by going to school on the on the on the tablet. I don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Regular. And this gonna mess some people who were like antisocial. I don't know how. Yeah, it's really, really yeah. yeah. It's really gonna mess some kids up. Cause my wife brother, my wife little brother, he already kind of like you know to himself. So these little. This year then kind of like made it even worse on them mm -hmm. because he gonna just adapt to this and just be cool with just being to himself. Mm -hmm. You need that 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 one on one shit. Exactly. Right? Is he an only child? Her no. Oh, okay. Well, at the crib now, yes. Oh, okay. Hell yeah, cause she she had him. She when when her her mom had him, it was like she they was old. Okay. Oh, was hell. <laughs> yeah. So he had the crib by himself. I can't imagine like how I would have been if I had like been homeschooled. Yeah. Cause I'm already like a little crab right now. I'm kind of like an introvert. Yeah. So, if I had to be home, I wouldn't have had no social skills God at all. I had to, because I was that nigga talking to everybody. Whatever, I how bet you, doing? you was. Got to. You got to. And shit. you light skin. I bet you was. I, am, I thought it was brown skin. Dark skin like, a little bit. You know, you like. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about. But, but the funny thing about it is, people don't be knowing. I'll be shy as hell, nervous before every show. You would never know. I was so key nervous before I came here. You too. should be. Come to Eastside. Red zone. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I looked, I'm like, let me see where this shit at. Mm -hmm. I said the East Hell yeah, man. We good over here though. We no, good people. We got sugar good night. Nervous. You know, he got we got pistols and stuff over here. <laughs> no, it's a shit. lot of uh a lot of dispensaries over here though. Yeah, hell yeah. My brother, I think shit, he should be back by now. I don't know what he what he, what he doing. Maybe he had a dispensary or something. He might be. Hopefully he didn't get pulled over. He can drop my car, so <laughs> we all fucked up. Knock on wood. <laughs> Gotta pay for your own shit like this. Uh, but yeah, I was running through here. I'm like, it's a lot of dispensaries right here. Shout out to the black owned businesses. Hell yeah, for um, sure. Um, but yes, I'm hell like, yeah. hell yeah. So you know you did your um you did your four years in school and stuff, mm -hmm. and you didn't get into the modeling until last year. So what was that in between time between modeling and after you graduated college? So I was working for um, Chrysler in the corporate sector, mm -hmm. and I was not fulfilled. Yeah, I mean I'm doing I'm basically doing what you're supposed to do after you get out of college. After they say like you're supposed to get out of college, get a good job, start taking care of your parents, start you know. Being an adult. Yeah, for sure. The shit Unfortunately, boring. yeah. I hate being an adult. It was boring. Yeah, yeah. I was bored. I'm like, okay, what else? Mm -hmm. What else am I supposed to do? Yeah. Sitting behind this desk doing... And I'm working with all white people. Yeah, for sure. I'm the youngest person. I would say, in, I, would say I know you hella young compared yeah, to... Yeah, I was the youngest person in my office. Yeah. The only little black girl in my office. Mm hmm and I was literally bored. Yeah. I was literally bored. And after losing my grandfather, it was like, okay, life is short. You yeah. got to do something. Hell yeah. To, that you enjoy. That you enjoy. Yeah. And I'm just like, and people have always told me like, Brittany, you a good looking girl. Like you can go into modeling. And you know, like having, you know, just basic like confidence issues. I'm like, no, I'm too short. Yeah. I got a gut. <laughs> boobs too big. Like, yeah. no, I can't do it. Yeah. They like, Brittany, it's a lane for you. So I just said, okay, I'm going to do it. Yeah. And I've been enjoying it ever since. Yeah, 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 hell yeah. No, so that's what I was gonna say. You know what I'm saying? Being a model, we already know what age you decided was last year. <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? Some what what was some you couldn't jump into it without knowing like or maybe having some inspiration. What was your inspiration behind being a model? I saw like, well, there's not really a lane that mm -hmm. I see for yeah. plus size women in Detroit. What I see in Detroit is a lane for strippers. <laughs> No, 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 no disrespect. No, no, no disrespect, but disrespect. But no, no, disres no, really, no disrespect. But I'm just saying, like, there really was no lane that I saw um, for like plus size women to be mm -hmm. like the premier type of women that are in Detroit. Yeah, you know, um, strippers. You know, they be doing their thing. Shout out to the strippers because that's the damn art. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. that is the art. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, yeah, okay, because yeah. I could never do it. My big ass couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. man. Um, but you know, it's the, it's. I'm just like, well, it's it's time for something to be different. You know, mm -hmm. it's let's just you know see what we can do out here in the D. So yeah. I'm like, let me take some pictures. And you know it's been been Gucci ever since. Hell yeah! So mm -hmm. she, being being black and you saying being plus size model, how hard is that though? Like to get res respect. Let me say this: like 
being a plus size model, you always you like you know like people are gonna come to you about lingerie yeah. and doing t those types of shoots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have done a couple of lingerie shoots. Okay. And I will say that I'm done with it because yeah. the type of response that I get from men like, is damn, disgusting. I love you. Uh, yeah, what you discussing like what they want you or like like the comments random like, dick pics in my DMs. <laughs> like I'm done. Duh. Duh. <laughs> like, <laughs> They was, that, that means that you're doing a good job. I guess. <laughs> I guess if I that's guess. what you want to call it, but I don't want that type of attention, player. You know what? Bro, I didn't you, ask for that. Bro, you, you know, you did such a good job with that shoe. Let me bless you. <laughs> I want to be blessed like that. I didn't ask for that. that, that <laughs> God damn. So that's, that's the only thing you say, like, as far as, like, the, the challenges and shit like that? It's just, like, they try to, like, and another thing is, like, I know people try to put you, put plus size women in a category like BBW. Yeah. BBW yeah. is a porn, like it's a porn, pornography yeah. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. term. Yeah. That's the term that's used by the pornography industry. Don't call me a BBW. Yeah. What's the weirdest porn you ever search? Don't. <laughs> you, say it's okay. because, you know why I always ask this question because I'm I'm gonna tell you why. When people ask that question I always ask because one time I'm at work and I know how like to get like movies and stuff like that on your phone. Mm -hmm. Like with any movie, like I can basically like have your your phone like a fire stick. So my man was like, dog, what's that website you be going on? Watch the movies. I'm like, dog, it's such and such. Like it ain't no app, it's a website, and then it turns to an app. Uh -huh. So yeah, man, do it for me, dog. I don't know what to do. So I got his phone. And well, you know, now he had the point. And you know when phone. you go on your, your 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 search, you got the shit that you search. The right, most. right, right. In the left hand corner, it said fat gay porn. And I'm like, what? So he heard me, grabbed the phone from me. I was like, no, what's the website? I'll do it myself. So my mind is already stuck in my head like this motherfucker, like fat gay dudes. So it fucked me up the whole day. I was thinking about it, like, damn, it um, fucked up like how many undercover dudes it is. Scream. So that's why I said, what's the craziest thing you might have searched? If the craziest thing I probably searched was like. You know what? Let me be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> Go ahead. I did search BBW porn yeah. because I wanted to see, like, am I a BBW woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm am I considered BBW yeah. for real? <laughs> my uncle, my uncle, my uncle said producer say always say some funny thing. He say it's no, f he got, <laughs> you, you could be saying this? Fat on fat rule. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it can't be oh, like. You can't fuck with another fat woman. Yeah, like, it, like, cause like, if, if her stomach bigger than mine, it's like a gut on gut. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too much you know who was the funniest person that gave that analogy was Monique from the Queens of Comedy, yeah, bro. Yeah, she yeah, said yeah. two fat people cannot get together. It's going to be a lot of sweating. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like, I mean, it sexual yeah. intercourse is already a lot of sweat yeah. anyway, but yeah, yeah. I like fat dudes, so. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know, I'm, I'm fine with it. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> like, uh-uh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> no, y'all funny, man. But no, the, the, go back to your question. The crazy thing I searched was like, I searched two crazy things. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not proud of this. Ooh. Well, midget porn, you know, I just want to see how midget is. Oh, Jesus. And then, uh, right. uh like, handicap. Huh? Just, those are two things. You're sick. I, I wouldn't say. <laughs> I was just, I, it was just, you know how you'd be curious about some things. Like, I wonder how, how it looked. And yeah. then, you know, she had a little wheelchair, he scooped out the wheelchair, legs were all sick. like this. Sick. And then once they did what they sick, did, bro. you know, it was all good. <laughs> so get back on the mile. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't like for dudes to like put me inside their like little fantasies. Like, don't. Yeah. Don't call me a BBW. I yeah. don't like that. Okay, okay. So you I just like you like the, the plus size. Yeah, model. I like plus size. Yeah. yeah. BBW. Don't do that. So um, <laughs> tell me this though: real model versus someone just posting pictures on IG. Ooh, tell me, tell me the difference. This thing is shaking the table. Hell yeah, it's all good. Um, got to. You know what? I can't even tell you what the difference is because. <sighs> I really can't. I really cannot tell you. You know what? I have a manager. Okay, so you you trying not to disrespect? I'm really because yeah. <laughs> somebody that may be posting pictures on Instagram see, may be trying to get into a lane yeah. of real modeling and yeah. don't know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a manager. Okay. I have my own website. Okay. Um. So basically, you just put them on game on what to do if you want exactly, to become like a if you want to become a real. I guess now. It's all about branding yourself. Yeah. If you want to become more than a person that does pictures on Instagram, mm. take more than selfies. You actually have to work with actual brands. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I work with actual brands. I have contracts with actual brands to be brand ambassadors. Yeah. So, I guess it's more like just get into a lane where you can actually like 
get paid for what you're yeah, doing. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And don't be posting ass naked pictures all the time. Yeah. I mean, like, not saying there's not a lane for that, but if yeah. you want to be taken seriously in the yeah. modeling world, that's yourself. why I, I have to lay back from lingerie all the time because I don't want to be looked at as just a lingerie model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a model, period. Yeah. And I, like I said, I looked at some of the comments in your, uh, in your pictures. I'm like, God damn, these niggas be going hard. Don't they? I feel like, and another thing, I don't know. I just I'm not with the dudes putting hard eyes on pictures. You know? Uh, nah, I just don't. You don't like give, that. Give him a thumbs up. Give him a strong arm or something like that. Not a strong. I don't, don't want to put no hard eyes on a picture. Like you know. He said a strong. Because it it, it kind of, I I feel kind of soft searching for the hard eyes. Uh uh-uh. I mean. I mean, if it's your chick, your lady, then cool. But if it's not, if it's somebody you really it just, don't I just know. feel weird. Like maybe it's just me. It maybe it's a me thing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe uh, my my dog hard eyes people with my brothers and stuff like. I just, if I was a single dude, I don't think I'd hurt eyes nobody. I see dudes like putting flames sometimes. Like, I think that's a good, like. Yeah, like, goddamn, you fire, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, but the whole, I don't know. I see I see a lot of, like, weirdo shit in comments. And I, I see some weirdo shit in your comments, like, you know. Niggas be, like, telling me, like, oh, I, I found my wife. I'm about to go tell my mama I found my wife. Like, it be some crazy shit. True. So, w- w- would you um talk to somebody through a, uh, through a, a slot of a DM? I would. Yeah, cause some people. Hey, you. But at this point, I don't even look. Like right now, I haven't looked at my DMs like since the last hour. But right, right now, <laughs> yeah. I have like forty-two DM requests. Damn. I haven't looked at them. Man, you might got you might got your Barack Obama in that boy. You might. Don't even know your Will Smith. And man. I do look through them. Like I do look through them, and I do respond to each of them. Can't yeah. nobody. I, either I respond or I like the message. Yeah. Can't nobody say I don't. Yeah, acknowledge yeah. their message because I do, sure. I'm not big enough to where I could be like, ugh, because yeah. I'm not that type of person. Yeah, 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 yeah. It take a lot of guts to slide in somebody DM. Yeah, no. yes, or, it do. Or a lot of liquor. Oh. <laughs> 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 you be like, hey, uh, you be, you go home by yourself and you like, you know what? Let me go ahead and slide uh, Felicia DM real quick. Like, no. so how you doing? But I don't want to make nobody feel bad or like make nobody feel little because I, I'm, let me tell. At the end of the day, people be like, oh, Brittany, you this and you that. I'll be like, I still ain't shit. Yeah. Like, I'm not. I mean, you got to feel the way. You got to be humble some type of way. You can't, you know Right, I ain't shit. I mean, we all something. I take some nice <laughs> pictures. Yeah. And I'm confident, but I ain't shit. So, that, that, you, you're talking <laughs> about confidence. A lot of times when we think about the, the model, you think about the white, skinny chick. So, what, when you first got into it, would you like kind of like... A little nervous because you like I don't know how you're gonna respond to me by being a plus size girl or whatever like how I was, was it? I was a little, I was really nervous about because when you see plus size models they're mm. not as top heavy as I am yeah um they like they'll have like a bigger butt or like you know they'll be thick mm. but they won't have like boobs like I do yeah I was really nervous about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really nervous. I'm like how 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 is this gonna work? Yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's been like some. Some things I've had to turn down because they don't have clothes that fit me yeah. the right way. And yeah. <laughs> one thing about me is like I'm not gonna put on nothing that I don't look good in. For sure. Mm-mm. Hell yeah. Not gonna do. Hell yeah. So what? What? With the whole model thing, like what? What's like the uh, the ultimate goal? Like with this shit. The ultimate goal is to be able to do it full time mm-hmm. and not work a normal job. Like I do. Like I do want to have my own plus size modeling agency. Mm. Um. So that that's really my ultimate goal. Like this year, my goal is to be featured in a fashion show in a magazine. Okay. Don't know what magazine it's gonna be. Don't know what fashion show it's gonna be, but yeah. I'm just gonna keep talking about it. And Whenever you do happen. it, though, make sure you know what I'm saying sponsored by Showers Everybody Podcast and stuff. When you, For sure. we be in the building, you know what I'm saying? me and my <laughs> dog, sure. you know what I'm saying that boy lurking, he's looking and shit. <laughs> all that good stuff, man. All that good stuff. Do you uh, do you? Was you one of them girls who was watching? Um, cause I was watching that shit. I don't know why, but I was watching it. Mm. American Next Top Model. I watched it really. That's the first time I seen like a a a, a plus size model. The Takara. Yeah, she mm-hmm. was. Yeah, she was. She was straight. Hell yeah. What's up, Scar? She was gorgeous. Hell yeah. She was a nice little piece. And then she was, was it? Gorgeous. Who was the one chick with the um, short dude who was married to my man? Uh, skinny Eva. Eva. Oh, uh, Eva Langoria. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was I was into that junk heavy. Like my uh, my son and mom used to watch it all the time, so I used yeah. to be like forced to watch that shit because we had one TV. I love America's Next Top Model. I actually, when I was younger, I took like modeling classes. Like yeah. modeling has always been something I have wanted to do. Mm. I just never took it seriously until last year. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what, I was a lot skinnier back then. I was like, what stopped what stop you from doing it then? I was younger. Like it would basically. You know, like school got in the way. Mm. Um, I was like really, really young. Yeah. Like really young. And like 
It's just I, my heart wasn't in it like yeah. that at the time. Do you be uh? Do you be scared for certain people in your family to see a picture you might yes. post on social media? Let me tell you, <laughs> it is already. Oh Jesus! <laughs> like, you can get questioned on Thanksgiving. Like, so about that picture you posted? It has already. I saw a lot been of motherfucking cleavage. About, you know how old it has like already <laughs> been a situation. Like I took some lingerie pictures. Yeah. And I posted one on my my um uh, my Instagram, and you would have thought I did porn. <laughs> It was like it was. It was. Who crazy. said something, Uncle Junior? My uncle actually did. Yeah, I'm, I, I know. I my so. uncle called my mama because their okay, so their cousin mm -hmm. called my uncle, and my uncle called my mama, and you would have thought hell, like, the, like it. I was like, whoa, like, am I really? Hey, like, look but at I really, I could understand where they was coming from because the picture was provocative. It was. Um, and they just like, well, maybe. I mean, what, what picture was it? Like that was because I didn't see none that was like, ridiculous. I'm a show. And did we see some ridiculous? Cause I, you know I always go through stuff like, but like I can see Uncle Jerry right now. Hey, look, look on Britney, oh uh, motherfucking um uh, IG page. <laughs> I'm gonna show you real quick. Boobies and all you, out. And you let me know what you think. So right now, hey, for everybody, you know, what I'm saying when she going through her IG, it showed me the crazy picture Uncle Jerry has said. You know what I'm saying? Take down. So when she came for Thanksgiving and she got the yams, he was like, yeah, them yams was all out on Instagram. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And yeah, then, yeah. So they started arguing about it and they stuff like that. They not happy about these at all. Did you see this one? Oh, yeah, I seen those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see why Uncle Jenkins was a little mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little yeah. yeah. They, was they was pissed. Yeah, yeah. they not on my page no more. Just say that. <laughs> so let me ask you this: by the, by them getting mad, if you well, if your daughter had posted those pictures, would you be pissed off like, God damn it, why you do that, you little know, Brittany? Because she almost, I'm almost. Yeah, angry. but you know, you know how it is. Like, I could, I got daughter right I now. I could understand why they were upset. They weren't expecting to see that. I didn't tell them. Yeah, just, that I had did a type because that was around like Christmas. That. Yeah, I I took that shoot like in. October. Okay. And they didn't because the girl that was doing it was trying to do like she's she's doing a calendar mm -hmm. and she wasn't like um introducing it until around Christmas. Yeah. So I posted those around Christmas and I I had a you know a few months to let them know like what was going on and yeah, I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was kind of my fault. I yeah. could have let them know like hey just to let y'all know. Yeah, I got you know. I got these in the vault. Little yamich. <laughs> little, 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 little yamich. Um, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I can understand why they're upset. But at the same time, like I need to know. Especially his dudes. Like, dudes gonna always be like. Yeah, my uncle. My uncle was not happy. Kinda, with the reason why I said because I know my daughter. I know like my, my brother be you know that's my brother right there be probably mm -hmm. tripping about something. That my daughter posts like you know nigga, you see what the fuck yo daughter posted. Yeah. Like that, like, so if my daughter become a mom, just don't it block me on fa on anything. So I won't say. Yeah, it. so that's what I ended up doing. <laughs> yeah, block you got block the family members and shit because they gonna be all in mud. So your mom, she like she she good with it though. I know. Goddamn. So who's supporting the family? Like, I mean, not, <laughs> not not with the lingerie. Like yeah. they don't they don't like the lingerie because my family is very big into the church, very big okay. into uh, very big Christians, and I'm a very big Christian as well. For but. Sure. I understand that, like, this, it's an art to it. And it's then with not, modeling, it's not, like, one thing. Like, you got to go into and different... You're right. You have to go into different sectors of modeling. Yeah. It's, it's it's no way a model could get into modeling without doing at least one lingerie yeah. shoot. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so, but I could have let them know, like, hey, just yeah, let y'all know. Hey, I did a little thing. Got a little yamage out here. You know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? But, you know, don't get at mad. this point, the, the type of comments and things that I was getting, I don't even want to do it no more. And this from like strangers, right? These are from complete strangers. But you can't get like that, John. Just like you know, what I'm saying you go, you gonna have. It don't matter what you post. You gonna have niggas in your motherfucking comments talking crazy. I don't know. Yamich or no yamich, like you I, could be, you could look like. I had never gotten random dick pics before that. I mean, you can have my face and then put on a girl body, and somebody gonna be DMing like, "Damn girl, like that's how niggas is." <laughs> my my dog, I ain't gonna say his name. He had talked to so many crazy looking motherfucking girls and. Just cause they had a little, you know, a little booty meat. He all in the DM like, cause she look like Herschel Walker, like, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> like. But guys be, you know, simple minded. They see yeah. a little. Y'all are visual simple minded creatures. Man, <laughs> I want to say I, I don't think you should stop because you know, cause of the comments you gonna get, you gonna get that regardless. 
I'm gonna take a step back from it because all uh, like that was like maybe the third lingerie shoot I had did, and I didn't want to get in the lane to where like people just thought I did lingerie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna take a step back. I may get into it again, for sure. but I want to do more like serious stuff, like more editorial stuff, working with more clothing brands, yeah, yeah, fashion yeah. shows. Yeah, for sure. So. Yeah. So what's some things like as far as your start? Like I always ask people like, what's something you would have did different from your start? Would you have start early? Would you did this approach? Like, what would you have done differently? I wouldn't have done anything differently because the moment that I did it, it took off, which meant that it was the perfect time for me to do it. For sure. Hell yeah. So. Yeah, that's what I'll be telling him about the podcast, man. I, I did the right time, you feel me? Exactly. If I was there earlier, it probably went trash. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wouldn't want to come on the show. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Now I got, you know what I'm saying, one of the best, you know what I'm saying, plus size models in the world and shit, yeah. man. You know, she, 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 um, motherfucking already took some shots at some strippers and shit, but you know. No, I did don't not. Get, don't, don't, don't get do mad. that. Don't get do mad. Do not have strippers. strippers. <laughs> Listen, like, no, Detroit I'm strippers. I'm I love y'all. Okay. Now, now, we, now we talked about what what's some other things you got passions for that might be outside the model and thing. Like, would you see acting in your future? Like acting? Or... I would. I would act. Okay. I would definitely act. Um, you, you, y'all need to be probably paying attention to the Detroit, Detroit movies. I do. Yeah. I do. Ta- I do pay attention to Detroit movies. Um, <laughs> buffed up and all that yes. shit. You can be. One I of think the... I can be in one of those movies. Hell I yeah. do. So we hey we we gonna, we about to start the movie, dog. You gonna shoot this motherfucker? We gonna do a Detroit movie, dog. Get some more cameras. You gonna and do shit. a movie? Uh, yeah, we gonna Bet. do it. Shit, we gonna have it. What? I was gonna be called. It's gonna be called somebody. I'm, Cause I had one movie. It's called Dog. You about to get married? It was Dog. Dot 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 dot. You about to get married? So the thing about it was, he was always telling me like, you know, I got married in July, July tenth. Oh, so congratulations! He, appreciate. It. I ain't got my ring. I forgot that she gonna probably get mad. But it's all good. <laughs> but um, listen, sis. You know, we, every time he talks to me, I'm like, man, you about dog? You about to get married? So I'm at work one day. I'm like. Dog, you about to get married. It could be a movie, but it could be. We got to finish it. It could be them trying to get me to get another piece of ass before I get married. So we. That's when um you know we get we we pursue this one little young lady through IG, uh-huh. and she come over and stuff. And I'm about to put my whole Mac game down. You know what I'm saying? About to go ahead and throw my line out there. But I get a text message from my wife like we about to get married tomorrow. And then I tell her like we can't do it. Then she start calling me all type of punk motherfuckers. This and third and leave. You go so far as to tell her you yeah. can't do it. They, yeah, yeah, I got that far. They clown me like, nigga, you, why you in fuck? I'm like, I'm about to get married. And that's the end of the movie. That's a good movie. So, that dog. That's some real life shit. I like movies that's like real life. It's like, going to be funny, though. It's going to be, yeah. it's going to be, dog, you about to get married, dog, you got cheated on, dog, you got knocked out by, <laughs> your, by your son's stepdad. Like, <laughs> like, a whole bunch of shit. Like, it's just going to be, dog, everything. Like, like, dog, you got motherfuckers sick off the sandwich. Like, just different shit like that. I'm screaming. So, we ain't talked about, you know what I'm saying, your, your, your growing up, what you're passionate about with the modeling and stuff. Let's talk about something like you and guys. What do you look for in a guy? What do a guy got to have to attract Brittany Newton? At, at this point, just fucking common sense mm-hmm. shit um don't be a liar yeah i hate liars mm-hmm. don't have a girlfriend that you didn't been with for three years and you don't know if you want to be with her or not <laughs> yeah and you're trying to fuck with me yeah don't do that you must have had that it just happened it literally <laughs> just happened a month ago <laughs> literally nigga whole mary like literally <laughs> whole ass in a relationship did not fuck listen we're not gonna talk about that Man, um god damn literally just happened this this type of shit happens all the time they do all the time um niggas be trying to do anything so <laughs> not saying the dude has to have gone to college but you do have to have some type of passion mm-hmm. some type of aspiration to be something for sure um be good with money yeah now what if it's the mcdonald's dude who flipped the burgers but he gotta go what's the goal and what are you doing to get towards <laughs> he want to be a goddamn um he want to be an actor he on he he. What are you doing to be? Active? He got a cameo on on Buffed Up. <laughs> what other stuff you got? Cause Buffed Up came out what? He do a lot Two of six, years he ago? do a lot of sixty uh second um things on IG. I, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. No, it's all good. It's all good. But no, you say so. He ain't gotta be the richest nigga, but he gotta have some goals in life. Exactly. And some, you ain't gotta be a total. You ain't gotta be a total rich nigga. Like bitches really be like, oh, he gotta be able to pay this bill and that. I'm not looking now, for that. You talking about bills? How, now my my thing is this. Oh, if I'm in a relationship with a woman, Lord, I, I'm, I'm in a relationship. If I can cover everything, I will cover everything. If I'm we, not gonna ask that of you though. If we making the same amount, then maybe we can split so we can both. You eat know good. what? 
I've come to the point where like do whatever is best for you mm -hmm. and your relationship. And fuck with this outside fan. And fuck with the outside yeah, yeah, yeah. fan because social media had you thinking like a nigga is supposed to take care of everything. Mm -hmm. And not saying if that's what works best for y'all relationship, yeah. then by all means yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's situations where women take care of the rent mm -hmm. and dudes take care of other stuff. And yeah. if that's what works for y'all relationship, yeah. by all means, it's your do crib. That. Yeah, what's in your crib? Do that. That's what I, like we say when you talk about you know saying your relationship to your family. You just gotta let the outside know nothing. Exactly. Cause once they know anything, that's when they gonna start just talking shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Taking that, little that, dance and, and shit. And you can't let other people's opinions of your shit come into your stuff. Like, All right, what's, what's that's the, how it fucks up. What's the longest relationship you've been in? Three years. Three years? Mm hmm. How did it end? You asking a lot of questions. That was the one where I was in high school. I started to feel myself. Okay, that's when yeah, things started to, you know, yeah. saying, do a little do a little thing. Yeah. God damn it. So you ain't so you ain't been no like no real relationship since you've been a I haven't been in a real relationship since 2013 and I was in college. 2013. Mm -hmm. Dang. I know somebody like that too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because right, some people got to be in, in a relationship. Some people have to be in a relationship. I, some people don't like being by yourself. And sometimes it's cool oh, to be by I yourself. Got too, I didn't got too comfortable with being by myself. Yeah. Like, way too comfortable. That's yeah. why I want to be in a relationship. Like, I would like to be in another one. Yeah. But niggas is liars. Hell yeah. So that's your so that's your biggest right there. That's your biggest turn off the line. Yes. Don't lie to me. Because I'm the last person on earth you have to lie to. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And like, if you in a relationship... And you looking to like step out your shit, mm -hmm. at least give me the choice. Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? Hell yeah. Niggas don't even want to give you the choice no more. Just selfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, hey, for the guys that's watching, if you don't lie, you got some goals, you went to college. You know, she said she accepted DMs, but just don't don't be singing no dinglings. Please don't. <laughs> you know that's nasty. Hell don't yeah. do that. So, we always got, we got this one shit called Young Nigga Shit versus some things I've been through. Okay. For example, as a young nigga, you be like, man, I ain't never eat no pussy. Uh, but then when you become older, shit, you be like, come here, you got a fork and motherfucking spoon, and shit. So, uh, what's some? What's some, it ain't gotta be that, but what's some? What's some young nigga thinking that you had that you don't even like? Go about that right now. Like a young nigga be like, um, I'm never working this type of job. But when you get older and see bills are coming, you work that job. You know, <laughs> someone like. My grandfather used to teach me like, oh, you don't never pay no man's bills. Yeah. I've paid a man's bill before. Okay. So that's something you wouldn't do now? I would do it now. Okay. I Back in the day, I wouldn't. Yeah. But I've what, done it before. What's a, what's a bill? Like a phone bill. Okay. Okay. That's the highest bill you pay for? Yeah. Okay. I, anything. Like, or like, not per se a bill, like for some shoes. Like some yeah. shoes, the most of shoes would be like 200 But you know what they say? Old people say, you don't pay... For a man's shoes, cause he'd walk out on you with them bitches. <laughs> like that's my old, that's old people. That's exactly what the fuck happened too. I should have. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, bought him some shoes. What kind of shoes was some Jordans? Jordan. God damn it! I got the Jordans. Got the, what's that? Nelly song Step in My Air Force One. <laughs> Niggas. Hell oh, yeah! Damn, you should got some team drawers. He was shut like, up, shut he'll up. be at, some shacks. <laughs> we got straight attitude. Like oh, shacks. so this what you doing, huh? Yeah, or some Kobe. Shout out Kobe. Oh yeah, Kobe got some. Yeah, some dog. He got some shoes. nice shoes. Yeah, I love Kobe shoes. Hell, them bitches probably too high right now. Yeah, they are. You can't, probably can't find them nowhere. So that's that's, that's some young thinking. Like I never pay for nobody's shit, but then I pay for somebody's shit. I'm good. That's what, that's your, that's your young thinking. Mm-hmm. And that's the only thing you can think of. That's like that's it. Yeah. Cause right. that's a big deal to me. Hell yeah, hell paying, yeah. Paying a man's bills, that's a big deal. Hell yeah. Cause he probably bragging. Now you know you know uh, Brittany uh the plus size model. You know, I had that motherfucking uh uh cricket bill. <laughs> she paid for it. <laughs> she paid for it and she no got more. me some motherfucking uh Majority, some right. joys. The, the ones, the ones. So he all bragging about you and shit. Right. So you know, you I know you seen the shit that happened with the fucking um the Capitol building. Yep. And like, you know, say what like without going, you know, you ain't gotta go hard, you can go hard, whatever. Oh, I'm gonna go hard. What's your Please thoughts on that you. shit like and like cause my thing is this, like, if it would I feel like whenever America feel like it's a change and it's, it's gonna be for the better of black people, they try to do something to fuck it up. I it, feel like from slavery days to yeah. the sixties, seventies to fucking now, whenever they feel like we get the upper hand, they they don't like that shit, so they gonna try to fuck some shit up. You know, I I can't understand why there is this population that don't believe that Joe Biden won this election fair and square. Mm -hmm. I don't believe there's no evidence to show. Mm -hmm. And I watch the news all the time. So, yeah. I'm a CNN head. My TV when I left the house was on, was on CNN. Hell yeah, for so, sure. 
I, I really don't. There's absolutely no evidence to show that this election was stolen yeah, read all that or anything. Thing. So yeah. if I was a senator that was in that building that day, I would feel yeah. like Trump personally had a vendetta against my life. Hell yeah. Because you went out there, had this whole freaking... Um, Ku Klux Klan rally. Had a rally <laughs> yeah, yeah, and sure. basically said, like, y'all need to do what y'all need to do yeah. to basically make sure we and win And he this said election. that shit on more than one occasion. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you have these people who I believe are mentally ill. Yeah. Because for you to believe what this man is saying, you have to be mentally ill. For sure. Hell yeah. There's no evidence to show anything this man is saying is true. Yeah. You have these mentally ill individuals. Who believe everything he said yeah, and sure. goes by everything he said. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So if I was Mike Pence, yeah. I wouldn't have nothing to say to uh, Donald Trump because he ran his ass he, out. <laughs> they ran him out of there like he was a little girl. Yeah, man. Mike Pence is the vice president of the freaking United States. He yeah. was in that building. That building should have been secured a lot better Coming than to, that. If it was us, if, if a niggas put if a niggas pinky, had come into man, two blocks a, a of the Capitol toe, building, it would have been lights it out. It would have been lights out. But the fucked up thing is when Trump made the little uh, announcement saying like we love. He said we love. He you. loved. We, we love care about y'all. Like, God we damn. About but when it was us with the Black Lives Matter, like nigga, no. He's nigga. like when y'all start looting, we start shooting. Yeah. And um, then Come to them off of, we love you. We care for you. We care for. We understand you. Like, yeah, like, like damn, like like for real. That's crazy. But that's the world that we live in. Then we gotta understand that that the United States is never is it's never gonna be for us. Or it's never, it's gonna, never been. It's never gonna go our way. It's you never been. It's always gonna be against us and and what we you know with the things that we believe. That's in. why we have to continue to create our own spaces. For sure, hell yeah, that's, and support each other too. Yeah, like, that's why it's something I can say I truly appreciate that I've only worked with black owned businesses, black yeah. owned brands, work with. Um, Yo, yo, podcast, black yeah. on podcast, yeah, other yeah. podcast I was on was a black podcast. Yeah. Not saying I won't go to the other side and work yeah, with the sure. other yeah, side, yeah, yeah, yeah. but, but I pride that myself that I have done that because yeah. I'm giving back to my people. And then, like I think Charmaine has said something like, I guess it was something with Meg, whatever. Like her, her people was just saying like, don't ask these questions, don't do this, don't do that. But when it comes to like GQ or like the white people, like they whatever, they can ask whatever, yeah, whatever they, they want. want. To. But when it comes to like. The Breakfast Club or like a black like hey don't don't ask these questions like you know what I'm saying so that's not cool yeah that shit weak as hell man yeah but this whole shit weak this whole motherfucking I believe that the whole the reason why I like this is because they were so pissed off that Barack was in this bitch for eight years oh they were they, they pissed whole, this they whole little and they back. hate that we still give Barack that respect oh yeah hell yeah I got motherfucker uh bring Barack head at the crib oh for real. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's Jesus, but even, Barack, and, and, and um, Bill Clinton. And I hate how people do. I hate how people. <laughs> I hate how people do him though because they. He couldn't do so much because everything was getting turned down. Like it and was people like, don't understand how important have controlling the House of Representatives. And that's why the this shit that happened is. in Georgia is important. Exactly. That people didn't understand that Obama did not have that type of support in the yeah. Congress. He couldn't do everything that y'all thought he should have done. Hell yeah. He tried, yeah. but he couldn't because he would get turned down when that yeah. shit came to the Congress. Like me and my wife was talking about, it don't matter what president you got, you ain't going to get You're not going to get nothing change. you want if the, yeah. con if the Congress is and not it's about what the, he wants It's about it your, your state officials and stuff like that mm -hmm. as far as like what you're going to get. Because I yep. remember when I was young, and like we had at-school programs, it was more jobs. People wasn't complaining like they are now. Like now... It's shit. It ain't nothing. It ain't you. You, don't see, you don't see nothing. It's not much. That's why I want people to start. I hope they understand. Like with this election in Georgia, you see how important these different elections yeah. are. Not just the presidential election. It's an election for the Senate, the House, yeah, for sure. your yeah, yeah. local election. Your judges, those yeah. really matter. Yeah, yeah. And you got <laughs> and it's got to be something. It can't be. Yeah, we come out in groups whenever things is fucked up. Mm -hmm. It got to be something that's consistent. A lot of times we wait until. Shit is like at flat bottom, like rock bottom, for us to be able to fight. That's but, why Trump is in office right now. We didn't come out like that because we felt all. we that didn't feel lose. a connection to Hillary, and we thought that he was gonna lose. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I mean, it. people felt the way they felt about Hillary, but let me tell you something: this type of mess wouldn't have happened if Hillary wasn't in office. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, shit crazy as hell. And so we got one little thing called, you know, top three. Top three. I give you a category. Give me your top three. I kind of feel I kind of know the answer to these top three. Oh, top God. three childhood crushes. I know oh a little God. bit. Okay, more chestnut. <laughs> more chestnut. But more more chestnut and um the best man. Was the first one. Or the, the first one. Oh, not the second one. He. I didn't like the second one. It was it, it, I, it, it was too sad. It's a, it a tearjerker because I was that much. You know, you you be in the movies with your girl like. And they try to hide the crowd like, God damn, you make your eyes big, like, like God damn, it's getting hot in here. 
Okay, so the only light skinned man I ever loved was Chris Brown. Chris Brown, okay. Um, and the third would have to be this is weird, but Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> he light skinned too though. Not really. Yeah. No, no. But you know, it's crazy. But he like, is though. Because <laughs> like, yeah. like 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 light skinned dudes like dark skinned women, dark skinned women seem like they like light skinned dudes. I ain't gonna say I like that. chocolate because I'm. Thinking, I try to stay away from y'all. Yeah, I, like, I, 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 I like the little. I like the little chocolate chicks. You know, chocolate chip cookies in this bitch. I try shit. to stay away from y'all. You know, I had me a vanilla wafer when I was in high school, and it, that was it. Y'all the devil. <laughs> that was it though. I don't really consider myself white skin. I feel like I'm light skin with dark skin tendencies. If that's what you say. Yeah, anyway, I'm a dark skin dude. In heart. In my real in, inside, I'm a fucking Dimitri, the dark skin dude. Like, <laughs> not Dimitri. <laughs> like, oh, I'm high. What light skin do you know named Dimitri? Got not. <laughs> 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 That's so funny because I have a cousin named Demetrius and he dark skin. Hell yeah! <laughs> and all girls in Ebony is loud. That's not right. Shit, for the most part. Ebony don't come after him. He don't mean it. I know Ebony, and she family, <laughs> <laughs> and she loud as fuck. So give me your. Uh, you got top three uh, childhood crushes. Give me your top three movies. Number one is Titanic. Now Titanic, you know what I like about that? They both could fill in that door. Oh, he could have swapped out. He, he just, you know. <laughs> Every 30 minutes. Leonardo like, DiCaprio, he just was like, you know what? I just felt like he ain't had nothing else to live for. He just wanted his woman to live. I mean, he died for a chick he met on the boat like two days ago. But they fell in love. <laughs> they did, but love ain't that heavy. That, 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 that boat was heavy enough. To, that door was heavy enough to hold both of us, though. I hope I, you know what? I don't ever want to feel no love for somebody like, I feel like I'll die for it within two days of me. Yeah, I'm about to say, that's like, I don't, I don't want to feel it. Yeah, that's like, too deep. You know what? Uh, what what's her name? I forgot her name. Man, I'm gonna die for you, girl. Like right Rose. now. Yeah, Rose. Like, <laughs> like you, man. Goddamn. So you say Titanic is number Titanic one. Titanic is number one. Still Magnolias. That's a. I never seen that. You know, yeah, it's, it's a little white movie. But okay, it's, okay. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Southfield coming out of me. You silly. Um, um, and number three would have to be. Have y'all seen a few good men? Uh, heard of it. Never seen it. It's a very good movie. Yeah. Give me all right. You said that. Give me your top three hood movies. <sighs> ATL. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Goddamn, new new in this bitch. Goddamn. Um, ATL. Um, what other hood movies are there? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Friday. Got to. Okay, yeah, okay. You, if you say hood movies, and Friday don't... after next. Friday after next is like the one, the Christmas one. See, we I argue with these niggas. I like, I like it in the order: one, two, three. Two if was you, funny. If you, okay, no. It, if you look at number three, three is funny compared to number two. Three is funnier. I, I like two. I love two. Three baby, is funnier for baby sure. Baby Joker, like no more like nurse. It seemed like a something too. Man, two was like a break. It was only. An it was scene. like I don't break. know. They must have had different writers or something. I don't yeah. know, but Man. three is hilarious. But I, number one, the first I, one is a classic. Yeah, top three, um, TV shows. <sighs> Shoot. Um, y'all gonna laugh at me. Oh yeah, here we are. Sex in the City. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's a classic. Um, <laughs> it is. You should watch it sometime. I, I it's might. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, the Parkers because it reminds me of me and my mama. Goddamn the Parkers. Um, we the Parkers. And what? Oh, girlfriends. Girlfriend, girlfriends is a good show. The Parkers. I hated fucking um that they they little singing group. That shit was trash. Freestyle unity? <laughs> Motherfucker T was t the trashiest rap. <laughs> that nigga was worse than Lil Zane. That nigga was that bitch. Don't, like, don't do freestyle unity. They was only like, rapping like <laughs> one verse. Like oh, then nigga, the crowd go crazy off one verse. No. Goddamn. Uh, that white don't girl do was straight freestyle. I just like, uh, of course you used to like Stevie. Stevie had a big booty. Yeah. yeah I liked her <laughs> when she was on Blossom when she was six. Oh, I don't, I don't know. For that. your time. For your time. For your time. <laughs> Give me your top three foods. Types of foods are like food dishes. Food dishes. Um, pasta is number one. Mm -hmm. Tacos is number two. Macaroni and cheese is number three. Tacos, hard shell, soft shell. Soft. Oh. I just I, I ain't gonna lie. I used to be a hard shell nigga, and I became a soft shell motherfucker. Soft. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that should be good, dog. All right, give me your top three moments in life. This is deep. I mean, this is the best podcast you ever been on in your life. Um, <laughs> who stole that sign? <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my grandma. <laughs> um, God rest her soul. Uh, shoot, top three moments in life. 
graduating from college, mm -hmm. crossing my sorority, mm -hmm. and paying one of my mama's bills for the first time. Oh, shit, that's a dope ass. See, that's what I'm talking about. When you're on my show, you get things like this. And that's, that was that was those three dope moments, especially paying that bill, cause you always hear your mama talking. She's like, "You don't pay no bills in this bitch when you little," <laughs> and you find. And I bill. finally did it. Now yeah. what? That, that got me thinking about uh, everybody hates Chris when that nigga had gave his dad a Christmas present. He paid the bill, and motherfucker started crying. Like, <laughs> that shit was you felt like that nigga had made it as a father. Hell yeah, that's the father. I am. I'm cheap as fuck. You are. Hell yeah, I can have a million dollars and be cheap as hell. That's how my best friend. See, is. See, I ain't cheap. It's a difference. It's, it's cheap, stingy, and just cheap. I'm cheap. I help y'all, but I'm be cheap about it. My best friend cheap. Hell, you gotta be. Shit, in this world. Shit, I ain't rich yet. I gotta be cheap as hell. Oh, all right. Last one. Give me your top three if you got top three alcohol beverages. The ones I named. Um, Hennessy. Mm hmm Duce. Mm hmm Crown Royal. Okay, cool. All cool. dark. Yeah. So that got me going to my next question. Top three. I mean, not top three, but give me a drunk moment or high moment or both. A funny story when you was fucked up off one or both of them. High moment. So this is one of the first times that I ever smoked weed. This is back in high school. Are you a weed smoker? Huh? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it was prescribed by my therapist. She told me I should do it. So. Okay. Cool. Cool. Cause you got yeah. some. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. But I do edibles most of the time. I really smoke. I like yeah. edibles. I can't handle that. That should give me everything. Why is it? Everybody says that edibles I mean, have never done I don't, me wrong. I don't smoke weed. Uh, nothing, but the one time when we was doing quarantine, I wanted to do an edible, and that's the thing I know. You probably ate too much of it. Yeah, it felt like my head was caving in. Yeah, and probably, I called my brother, because he, he's With edibles, it, first of all, you have to make sure, like, what's the amount of weed that's it, in it. I didn't know. I didn't <laughs> and know. then, you can't eat all of it at one time. I called my brother. I was almost in tears. Yeah. He, my I'm, mama did an edible one time. She said that the sofa was talking to her. Oh, yeah. My son was just <laughs> like, my son is four, and he was just like... Fucking turn into terminate. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. He was chucking something. Yes. But he was, he was jumping. I'm like, God damn, cuz. Back up, man. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I, I kept telling my wife, like, listen, you might have to take me to the hospital. Like, this shit is fucked up. I'm I call, screaming. I call this nigga crying. Like, good. I'm fucked up, man. Like, I'm really fucked up. I was in tears almost. Like, I would never do that shit again. So, I was in high school. This is one of the first times I had ever smoked in my life. And to this day, I know that shit was laced. <laughs> I know it was laced. It had to be laced with something. Yeah. Because they said that I was like, we, you know, back in the day, you couldn't smoke in nobody's house. You smoked in the car, one of my friends' cars. For sure. They said I was high to the point where, like, I was laying on the street. Mm -hmm. The next <laughs> day, know, this is, the believe, like, this is during the summer. So, during the summer, I had a, a job where I would, like, babysit my little cousins. Yeah. The next day, I was watching TV, and I'm like, "Some ain't right." Like, I'm looking at the, I'm, I'm looking at the characters on TV, and I'm like, "These ain't the same characters that was on this show yesterday." God damn! I was too high, like high to the point where I called my mama and said, "Some ain't right. These ain't the same characters that was on the TV show the, yesterday." What were you watching? I don't even oh, remember. Yeah. Don't remember. Like I was high as hell for days. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah. I was high like I was so my mom took me to the doctor to make sure like nothing was really wrong with me. God damn. The doctor asked me, like, Brittany, have you been doing any type of narcotics? Like before we take this test. Yeah. Have you done any type of drugs? You lied? <laughs> hell no, oh. I ain't lied. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm clean. I'm about to embarrass my mama like that. So before we took the test, I turned to my mom and was like, girl, I've been smoking. Man. And my 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 doctor was like, yeah, you just got to wait for her to come down. But regular weed don't do that to you. So yeah. to this day, I believe that shit was laced. Hell no. Nah, it had funny. to be laced. So you was, they, they said you was on the ground laying down in the concrete? Yeah. Like, sleeping with pillows. and shit. No, like I was just there. <laughs> like they, I wasn't asleep at all. Like God. I was just there. I was that high. God that damn. That shit was laced. I know That's it was. That's what I said. Like, I, I, I'm actually jealous of motherfuckers who can smoke weed. Because really? I can't. Yeah. I, I wish I could get high and just be cool. I'll be high. Like, I am now. Like. No. Mm -mm. I'll be thinking about you thinking about me. Like, damn, she think I'm crazy. Like, fuck. <laughs> You be paranoid. Hell yeah, I'll be up shot. Get your shit together, dog. Bring uh -uh. think you crazy, dog. Like, See, that's that light skin shit. I guess so. It probably is. It probably is shit. I'll be paranoid, though. But I remember one time, I was that motherfucker just, man. Yeah, that mm -mm. shit. Every time I smoke weed, I'll be thinking I'm about to cry. No, every time I smoke weed, like, I just want to eat a good meal and go to sleep. Like, it's it's a, a thing where, like, it just okay. mellows you out. Give me your top three hot meals or hot food. Shit, anything. But what's your shit that you go get? Chipotle. 
Chipotle <laughs> and Chipotle. Goddamn. Hell no. <laughs> Southfield shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that is some Southfield shit right is there. It? Chipotle. People don't like Chipotle like that. Coney. Hell yeah. Coney. Nah. Coney. Chipotle. Coney. Chipotle. Hell yeah. But see, the Coney's out there ain't nothing like the hood Coney's. That should be trash, right? Right, niggas. We got Kirby's. I would have to go all the way out to, <laughs> to Detroit. But God the best damn. Coney, to me, if I was to like go get some Coney if I was high, yeah. would be L. George's. Not the one that's on Six Mile and Schaefer anymore because yeah. it's not the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the original Six Mile and Schaefer pe uh, people moved out to the one that's on Northwestern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real niggas know that. The best Coney is going to be, I'm always going to say. It's not the same. Mm. Well, y'all from the best, the... the best L. George's on Greenfield. You from the East Coast. Street from White Castle. I mean, so, the best Coney, I'm always going to say Hollywood. Hollywood Coney Island right here on Gratia, motherfucking Harper, though. East side. That's my hood, though. The best one on the West Side is L. George's. So we always do this, though. We always end it off with some last sentiments. Something positive people could take, like, don't do drugs. Stay in school. Okay. Stuff like that. I but it ain't got to be say. that, though. But what, what you going to say? Go to therapy. Oh, that's it. It's plain and simple, huh? Go to therapy. Black <laughs> men, go to therapy. Black women. Go to therapy. Just off the fact that we are black mm -hmm. and we are oppressed mm -hmm. is enough to send you to therapy. For sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Go to therapy. And where can people, um, you know, find you, look at your pictures and, and your website? Y'all can find me huh? at, um, oh, that's Brit Brad on Instagram. My mm -hmm. website is mm -hmm. Um, Yes, go follow me. Go check me out. Go check out my pictures. I got a lot of content that I'm coming out with. Um, you know, got a lot of photo shoots lined up. Got one today. Sure. Hell um, yeah. Hell yeah. We so, here. so yeah i am working so i appreciate y'all having me on your first model is i'm not one of your first female um guests but i'm your first model for sure hell yeah first model yeah and i she she was talkative because some females come on the show they'd be like on mute that's weird you know or they'd be like how you doing good how was how was your childhood? Okay, like goddamn. All right, um, bye. Since <laughs> you on the podcast, you gotta talk. Well, I have good energy. Yeah, and like, I'm a cancer, so I'm yeah. a real nigga. Yeah, yeah this, nigga <laughs> this, this ain't cancer too, man. God you damn. a cancer? Hell What's yeah. your birthday? June 26th. You a real nigga. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm just the realest nigga. You emotional? I can be. I told yeah, you. Like, he emotional. Yeah, I told you all my that I can be. Yeah. Let me know everything I need yeah. to know. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave people with this, man. If you see. A little yam bitch on the picture on IG. Don't motherfucking DM no dick pics, man. Please don't. Just say what up. She might Just say show, hello. She I might, might be fine. She, she might show you some love. And that yam bitch might be your yam bitch. Shout out to everybody, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let your boy. <laughs> <laughs>